Hello and welcome back to my channel. So we are already at the end of June, so that means I have my June empties and declutters video. And unlike last time, I did not sort out all my stuff. So I'm gonna do that kind of as I go. Um, okay, I think I have it kind of sorted, so we'll see. I'm gonna start with my declutters and then there might be some more declutters in here as I sort through my stuff, um, but I do have quite a few empties and declutters, so let's get started right away. My first declutter I have is um, underwear that is falling apart, so time to get rid of those. Really bad at getting rid of underwear. Um, it's just one of those things I don't think about. Um, next, um, my declutter is also clothing piece of, or a clothing item is this dress. I've had, ooh, it is very wrinkly. I've had this for a long time, all the way back to college. And it's just, the top is just so cute and I loved it when I had it. Um, but it just doesn't fit right anymore and it is time to finally let this go. It has been really hard for me, but time to let that go. Um, and then, and I need to clean some stuff out of my closet because I am not buying any more hangers and I have like just enough hangers for everything that I want to hang up so I'm going through a process of decluttering my closet so in the next couple of months you might see some more clothing items as I go through that process. Next I have this um, plastic piece. It was in the bottom of a reusable bag and it's just so bent out of shape that it's not usable or useful anymore so I'm just going to get rid of that I might be able to recycle it I'll have to check with my local recycling and I think that's everything for declutter and now I have my empties so start off with something kind of boring I have my printer ink my old printer ink um, I need to find my local recycling place for this um, I already repurchased printer ink because I need to use my printer um, Next, I have a thing of allergy meds because it was allergy season and they sucked. Did repurchase allergy medicine. Um, next, tube of toothpaste. This one's a Colgate sensitive. I'm pretty sure I got it from like the dent, free from the dentist. Um, not repurchasing because I have so many like little things of toothpaste and a big thing of toothpaste that I need to go through first. I haven't plenty of toothpaste. I'm not picky about my toothpaste. Um, next, I have my body wash. Um, the Burt's Bees Calming Body Wash Lavender and Honey. I've been using this for years now, probably two, consistently two years. Um, I had one more bottle left because I buy them in like a three pack. So I will need to actually repurchase this. Um, and then I have a Burt's Bees pomegranate chapstick. I think I have a chapstick left in like my stock of stuff that I get for, you know, cause you get like chapstick as little free gifts sometimes. Um, so eventually I will repurchase cause this is my favorite chapstick. Um, but for now, I think I still have one. So don't need to repurchase that right now. Um, I have a gift card that I used up from the town that I used to live in. So every time I go back and visit my parents, um, I have been trying to use all my coffee gift cards because I had a gift card to every coffee shop in that town. So can recycle that. Um, then I have this sheet of stickers. I put them in to my bullet journal that I love using. Um, and I have a bullet journal um, video for this year uh, on my channel so you can go check that out um, I just got these free at something um, and I don't need to purchase any stickers because I got plenty um, and then I have like a bunch of little sample things so first off I have this um, Becca uh, powder um, obviously cannot repurchase this because Becca is no longer a brand I got this as a free gift a couple years ago finally used it um, it was fine like I said, can't repurchase, not a brand. I'm, I figured out I'm not really a fan of like loose powder. It's too messy for me. Um, and then it just like gets everywhere and I have to clean it up. Um, next sample, I have a Lancome 
perfume it was okay and not really it was a little too like sweet of scent for me but um it was nice to try out because i am in the future going to be in the market for a perfume so like trying out little things and seeing how they smell just not quite for me um then i have these beekman milk drops it was a fun little thing like it has a really cool like glass bottle and the dropper made me feel fancy um but i don't think i would spend money on this um i have a bunch of other like serums that i got in that um makeup bag gift that i got from ulta uh, that i'm gonna keep trying out i just don't think i'm a fancy person so like it's nice to try stuff out like this but i don't know if i'd ever go out and purchase these things on my own and then i think this is my last thing finally i have a vichy um moisturizer um i really liked the consistency of this moisturizer i hated the packaging because it's like uh um almost like um cone shaped but without like a cone um so when you're like trying to scoop it out it like gets stuck on the lip there so not my favorite packaging um the consistency of it was good um it was fine but i think once I get through all my little samples, I'll probably go back to my Bare Minerals moisturizer because I just, it's the perfect consistency for me and it works really well for me, but it's fun to try out new things. So that is everything from my June empties and declutters. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment or a like if you feel like it. Um, and I will see you next week. Bye.